So today's sponsor is actually my mailbox and you might be thinking to yourself how can a mailbox sponsor your video well today's video where to go this that came in the mail this is a uh hello fresh meal kit so if you want to use this code uh go ahead it's first come first serve uh hello fresh if you don't want free advertising hey stop sending me stuff in the mail anyway so with all that said, let's go ahead and talk about the specs super, super quick. So this is the 11th gen Intel i5 processor, 512 gigabytes of storage, eight gigabytes of RAM, and the color is sandstone, but it's pretty much gold. Now, if you are a longtime subscriber, you know that Microsoft is pretty much king of the smell test on this channel. All their products smell amazing. Although as we enter, uh, I should say, as we entered into um, more months of COVID, all their products pretty much just started smelling like alcohol. I'm guessing they're just disinfecting all their computers before it leaves for shipments. Um, but I'm pretty excited about this Surface Laptop 4. It's really one of my favorite um, Windows laptops. Pretty much rivals the MacBook Air. Yeah, I can... Oh, wait, this smells like... Um... It smells like uh, new sneakers, like that fresh cotton material. It smells good. So as always, pretty clean and simple unboxing experience. You have your laptop that's wrapped up, your paperwork up here, and then you have your, I believe this is the proprietary um, adapter that charges the laptop. Yep, but I'm just gonna use USB-C because uh, it's just easier that way. Anyway, let's get into the actual laptop itself. Easy, easy, easy. So this was uh, made in China. I think the last one was made in Vietnam. I can't remember. Ooh, that was just like finished pressed or something. Whatever they do with metal in order to like cut this, that's what it smells like. I'm probably killing so many brain cells right now. It smells so good. So you open up the laptop and as you can see, we got this, um, this is new. It's like a, um, so it doesn't look like the, um, the display has been upgraded in terms of the bezels. Um, it looks pretty standard of what we had last year. Um, everything overall just seems the same. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys the ports before Cortana starts speaking. So on this side, we have our USB-A port with our USB-C port and a headphone jack, minimal on one side. And then the other side, as usual, we just have the Microsoft connector in order to charge the laptop. Um, it's pretty much it. There's not much to this laptop. It's pretty much like a MacBook Air equivalent. Simple. Hi, I'm Cortana. Hi there. I'm Cortana. I know. And I'm here to help. A, a little, little I'm in here, here the Wi-Fi there. there. The Let me and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone Stop talking. Icon no. the anyway, um, so one thing that really makes this computer more compelling than, you know, MacBooks is that it is a touch screen, something that I really wish Apple would introduce on their laptops, touch screens. I know a lot of people say that, you know, touch screens are whatever, but I feel as though if you haven't used a laptop without a touch screen, you don't really know what you're missing out on. It really just makes life a lot easier, especially when you're working off of a couch or in bed or just in environments where it's really hard to, you know, use the trackpad. I forgot how good this trackpad was. It's like glass. So one thing I really love about service lineups is how much attention to detail Microsoft puts on their overall aesthetic of the machine. It really is just like a work of art. Um, so as you can see, the trackpad pretty much matches the color of the keys. And it's almost like the trackpad is translucent, but not fully, it's like opaque. And then the actual keycaps themselves, um, they also match their darker tone of the laptop color itself. And it's just a work of art, honestly. Like this machine is really simplistic, but also elegant, that's the best way I can put it. But let me go ahead and get this set up and start, stop talking and complimenting this machine, even though it's kind of hard not to compliment this machine. So this has a display 
2256 by 1504, which is a little bit less than the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. I believe the MacBook Pro MacBook Air is 2560 by 1600, but I mean, it's still super sharp and a touchscreen as well. So it does come with eight, 16, and 32 gigabytes of LPDDR4X RAM. Um, also do keep in mind that the AMD version that I have in a box yet only comes with specific configurations. Um, so this is specifically the i5 1135G7 processor. Um, battery life they are claiming with the Intel version, it's 17 hours, with the AMD version, 19 hours. Um, graphics, we're getting the Iris X. Um, storage, removable removable 256 512 and one terabyte um, like i said before we have one usb-c one usb-a headphone jack and a service connector port which is your ac adapter um, sec security stuff inside the chip itself um, windows hello facial recognition so when you open up the laptop it will unlock oh it's already booted up i'm almost done though um, so front facing camera it is 720p dolby atmos emulation not real dolby atmos um, wi-fi 6 um, Bluetooth 5.0, um, has ambient light sensor. I'm not really sure what that means. If someone in the comments below can point that out. Um, casing is aluminum, so it does feel super premium, just like a MacBook or other laptops at this price point. Um, like I said before, in specific colors, the platinum and the ice blue, it does come with Alcantara. And that's pretty much it. You have a uh, one year hardware warranty. So this is what the laptop looks like. I've got to say, it looks looks good, Microsoft. Um, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. It's pretty much like MacBooks since like 2012. It's just the same thing every single year, but you know, I guess minor differences of upgrading the internals. So it's not anything new. It's really just, you know, better performance for your money. So let's go ahead and test out the speakers and just the video or the display as well. by some of my viewers, I'm going to be comparing the Surface Laptop 3 versus the new MacBook Air 2020. And I'll give my thoughts and reasonings on what device you should get if you are in the market between these two products, because they are similar in price. Um, but before I get started, I just want to say that if you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe if you want to see more tech content. If you like the video, please make sure to like. And if you have any questions on both of these products, please let me know down in the comments below. But to get started, I'm gonna talk about the unlocking. So it sounds like the speakers are kind of like where the MacBooks are, where it's on the side. Um, and it's just probably going through the ports and the vents on the bottom, but they sound crystal clear, especially at max. And I remember this comparison video. In my opinion, the speakers on the Surface Laptop 3 sounded better than the MacBook Air, but that's my own personal opinion. Um, so next, let's just go with the standard typing test, see how the keyboard feels, even though ugh, keyboard is so good. I'm just gonna use the one off Bing. So. <laughs> I mean, the keyboard is so satisfying to type on, but keyboards are subjective, but I do, I will say this is, top tier in my opinion in terms of what i like in a keyboard it's soft it's the keys are big enough for me to you know type or glide across they're not they're just they're so good man um so next let's go ahead and test out the camera and the microphone you guys can tell me how it sounds this is the camera or i should say video test on the surface laptop three or four i'm gonna be messing that up but you guys let me know how it looks and sounds. I always think that um, in terms of comparing the MacBook to the Surface, Surface wins hands down. But like I always say, if you're in like a conference call and you're not the you know main one talking and the box is like this big, listen, this is gonna be perfect. You're probably gonna have like the best looking camera. Um, if you are behind sunlight, it will definitely improve. It's probably, just, this is just so much white, like you can't even see 
it's like I'm in heaven or something. But anyway, um, if you are in darker settings, I do think that'll probably be a little bit choppy. I'm gonna have to do that in some further testing. But right out the box, if you have you know decent lighting around you, um, this camera is it's up there. It's not 1080p, you know, it's not what we want in the specs, but this is completely acceptable in terms of video conferencing online. But yeah, Surface Laptop 4, camera, pass for me. But it all comes down to performance. That's what people are getting the MacBook for. The M1 processor is performance. Why would you spend money on a machine with an Intel processor? when the Mac does it just as good, or I should say much faster and more efficient, and is just an overall better package? Well, to answer that question in this quick unboxing real quick, um, some people just don't want Mac OS. Um, some people would like a MacBook like aesthetic, but on a Windows version, and this is pretty much what the Surface Laptop 4 is trying to accomplish. Now, this laptop, I should say the Intel version, is much more expensive than the AMD version, so do keep that in mind. The AMD version is probably what's going to be on par with the um, M1 processor in terms of pricing, not performance. So I will have to do a later comparison video between the AMD version and the Intel version of the Surface Laptop 4, but kind of like last year, this is pretty much, it's pretty much the same, same deal, guys. Not much has changed. Um, but if you guys want a comparison video between the Surface Laptop 3 and the Surface Laptop 4, please let me know down in the comments below. But from, you know, first impressions, initial thoughts, it's pretty much just, just the same thing with um, beefed, up, beefed up modernized specs. So with all that being said, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this unboxing video. Stay tuned for the Alcantara AMD version. That should be out shortly. And as always, guys, much love. Oh, I forgot to say, I appreciate every sub, like, and comment. Much love.